So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. What will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Please select the desired procedure. Authorization. Major Nichayev.
crispy critters. They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised.
Scanning data. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or... Access granted.
with robots. Repeat, avoid interacting with the complex's robotic staff at all costs. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Ah, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, agent. This recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me live, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Who's the brainless mutt now, huh?
Access granted. Authorization, Major Nichayev. The door's locked. We won't be able to open it without power. Energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable.
So, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do, waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together forever. Do Wow. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production. distribution of confidential data is ordered to report to social control immediately. Shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction.
freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. How many of you are there? Sons of bitches. Finish me off, please! What the? J just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. Who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here? But I'm hurting right now! 
I'll never walk again anyway! Uh, what... What makes you think the whole place is gone tits up? If this happened in Vavilov alone, people from other complexes would be here already. It's happening everywhere, isn't it obvious? Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. Lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <laughs> harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. the canister might be. A device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms. Ah, let's go find it.
These canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific. Oh, finally, someone new to talk to, and a live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. We've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the lights sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end, but it was complete gibberish. Was anyone else here? Look around. There's plenty of victims. Not all of them were in a talkative mood. But take Ivan, for example. He was an assistant professor. He talked for days on end. Or comrade Ulumbekov. He went silent this morning. Too bad. He was young. All expired now. And still holding on, you see. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. He kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be all the vaccinations fault. Dead people being so chatty, I mean. Residual brain activity or something. What else could it be? Okay. So long. Thirty-five? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors. about the mushroom spores in the germination department. They sent us another robot they said it was on the fritz, so we opened it up, and it's full of mushrooms on the inside. The whole thing is packed with mycelia. What is it about the robot's polymer environment that the mushrooms like so much? At this rate, we'll have mushroom techs instead of lab techs. You guys are smart, right? Come up with something. <laughs> 